If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It doesn't hurt and it only helps me grow my channel. If you have any suggestions or projects that you would like to see, go ahead and write that down in the comment section. I'll go ahead and reply to you and hopefully I'll make a great video out of it. Good morning, Mr. Skeleton. You were looking mighty fine. Let me get a good slap going. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go. So the first thing we need to be immortal is a robotic hand. So there are many ways to go about creating this robotic hand, but I decided that I was going to go ahead and make it as fluent as possible. And how was I going to make it fluent? Well, as you can see, there are no screws or any other devices located inside of this. It is all 3D printed parts and some very nice craftsmanship, if I do say so myself. They're all extremely bendable. They can move in basically any way, shape, or form. And as you can see by my amazing bending skills, these guys can retain their shape and come right back to normal. I try to make it look exactly like my hand. Well, as much as of my hand as you possibly can see. The hand itself is a skeleton. There's no skin on it at the moment, so you can kind of see all its inner workings, all its um, goop, if you will. My best. This is going to be my best buddy James here. I like to name some of my robots. Um, this guy is going to be James. Even though it's going to be my robotic body eventually, we're going to do some cool science stuff, and we're going to transfer the brain power over. It's going to, it's going to be pretty amazing. If you can take a look here, it's, it seems that we don't have a thumb located on our hand, and that's what we're going to be doing in today's uh, video. We're going to go ahead and make a multi-part series of putting this thumb together, just to show you how it looks. This is the, these are the materials that I used. You can see we have a 3D printed thumb bone parts. We have some what looks to be some, fib some fibrous me uh, mesh that you would put on a uh, sprain. Um, that's going to be very useful for us. That's how we get those bends uh, connected together. And we also have some strings. You can see the strings are the tendons. And these tendons are how we're going to be pulling on our fingers to get them to move. I'm going to go ahead and set everything up now. If we take a look, you can see that they connect together to make a really nice thumb look. The thumb is a pretty thick bone structure. I had no idea until after I printed out how big they would be. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply just uh, hot glue a few things together here. And we're going to hot glue some fiber mesh on. We're going to hot glue on these heat shrink tubing and the heat shrink tubing is going to be how we're gonna transfer the tendons from one bone all the way down the line so that nothing gets caught hot glue guns can be a little bit difficult to use uh not really by um setting up but more of just getting hot glue everywhere so i like to put the tendons on last and we're going to do that in a separate video there are two ways to put the tendon sheathing on as you can see one way it's extremely stretchy and the other way it doesn't stretch at all depending on how we put it on is how the finger will move. One way for putting this on will allow us to be able to keep the bone from moving in one direction. The other way will help the bone move in a different direction. This is how we're going to make the thumb look li lively without having to use mo without having to use screws or anything else. As you can see I'm showing that I can wiggle it in one way but I can wiggle it and bend it a lot more in a different way. So we're going to use a tendon sheeting for that. All right, I'm breaking apart some of the pieces into smaller ones and going to be applying a small amount of hot glue, not too much. I don't want this to be crazy. You apply too much hot glue and the, it's not going to be able to move as well. We're just going to put hot glue on both the sides of these and we're going to attach them to both the right and left side of our top bone for our thumb. Now we're going to place that on the center portion of our middle thumb. This is going to make it so that our finger can move forward, but it can't move backwards and it can't move from side to side. And as you can see the thumb, now I'm going to be wiggling it across to try to make sure that it all fits into place. Sometimes you have to jostle a little bit for it to work. As you can see, it moves forward and I can't really bend it back too much. Now, I don't really show it here, but I also can't bend it from side to side, which is exactly what we're going for. And the bone fits on nicely, and it works just like how I want it to. It stops just about halfway, so it's perfect. And now we're going to be putting the back part of the tendon sheathing on. Now, this stuff is going to help us a lot in the back portion. The back portion is basically there to make sure that the bone stays on. Make sure that they're staying connected to each other before we get the tendons going. 
Looks like I found a proper location for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some hot glue. And from there, we can go ahead and stick that bad boy right on the back of it, and we finish the top portion of our thumb. You can see by my finger, it looks just about like how it's supposed to. I can bend it down just like my other, it's like my uh, regular thumb, and everything works out pretty cool. Top portion is now done. I'm pretty excited. Now we're going to get to the bottom portion. Look at that baby shine. That guy is looking very nice. I'm pretty sure some people without right arms would love to have this as one of their thumbs. Let me tell you. If you don't have yourself a thumb, I can go ahead and make you a perfectly good one with resin printed parts and some hot glue. What do you say? You want some of this? I know you do. This is some very nice craftsmanship. And all it took me was like half an hour to get ready, some 3D printing knowledge, and screwing off. And that's basically it. <laughs> that's all you need. I know nobody asked, but my hands are looking baby soft right now. They were looking very baby soft at the moment. You know, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta work more on this stuff. I, you know, I gotta do some more work with some welding. Get my, get my hands nice and toughened up. Playing the piano and working with resin printed parts just doesn't do as well as welding will. Gotta toughen my bad boys up. Get a few scars located on the fingers. Why not? Now I got hot glue freaking all over my fingers. Great. Exactly what you want to see. Blah. James would not be happy. Hmm, still a little bit loose, so what are we going to do? Well, now it's time to put the back tendon sheathing on. That's right. We got to get that stuff on there to keep it all good together. This is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit harder since if you go ahead and bend the bottom portion of your thumb, it doesn't have that much freedom of movement. It goes maybe 30 degrees in total. So we have to kind of match that. We have to get it 30 degrees as well. Uh, I'm still bending a little bit too far, but yeah, as you can see, it doesn't really go that far. It goes about 30 degrees in total. Not too bad. Yeah, not that good. Not that good. Doesn't bend that much. So I want to try to get a little bit of a bend too on ours. Get it exact. So we're going to have to stretch it pretty dang far. And there we go. And that is how you make yourself a thumb. Not the best thumb, but still, I, still, still a thumb. Still a thumb. Better than your thumb. How about that? Take that. And as you can see, the thumb is relatively the same size as our as our thumb. Doesn't have any skin on it or tendons or anything. But you know what? It's okay. It looks pretty good. I am very proud of it. Of my baby. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and attach that to our hand. And then we'll apply the tendons on it and see how it moves. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. And you know what? Check out my other channel.